I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot. Welcome back to another 10 Talk Tuesday. I'm sorry I'm so close to the camera, but I'm using a different setup today because my, um, my new cupboards are being installed and I don't have access to my actual room, my reading room. Okay, guys, listen, I want to talk to you very quickly. It's going to be a shortish video today, but I would like to talk to you quite quickly about the difference between witchcraft and Wicca. Okay, Wicca was invented by a guy called Gerald Gardner in 1954. Um, he was joined by a woman called Doreen Valiant. And Doreen wrote a lot of the um, the manifestos and the the, the Wiccan um, Bibles and and that sort of thing. She was she was very much responsible for a lot of the written work um, and the rules and that sort of thing. Now, Wicca is a religion. Okay, it is a dogmatic religion. It is a religion that is um, that has rules. Um, it is a religion that has um, initiation rites, it has, an, it has um, specific strict do's and don'ts. So it, it's kind of up there with Christianity and, um, you know, being a, a Seventh-day Adventist and that sort of thing, Protestants. It's kind of right up there with those because those, those sorts of belief systems, those sorts of religions, they have rules and regulations and so does Wicca. Um, one of the things that I can mention is the rule of three or the law of three, which is if you do something really awful to someone, that will come back to you threefold. That is not something that dates back to when our forefathers were running around naked in the, in the English woods. That is actually a invention of Wiccan philosophy. It's Gerald Gardner that came up with that, um, which is why witches don't really believe in it. Okay, so what about witchcraft? What about witches? Well, you know, to be a Wiccan, you need to be a witch. Um, otherwise, you wouldn't follow the, the religion. But to be a witch, you don't have to be a Wiccan because you can be a solo practitioner that works outside of any structure. Now, a lot of people are solo practitioners. They don't belong to a coven. They don't regard themselves as Wiccan. Okay, and no, they don't live in... in sort of woody veils and, and, and stone cottages in the, the middle of the German forests. That's a misnomer. You can look like a soccer mom and be a soccer mom and also be a, a kitchen witch, working with herbs and working with wonderful um, uh, spices and um, doing baking in a certain way, uh, in the mornings doing a, a sort of clockwise turn to your coffee or an anti-clockwise turn. Um, all of those sort of things, that to me is more witchcraft than Wicca. When I think of Wicca, I always think of um, kind of dark ceremonies, um, uh, chanting, uh, uh, sort of smoky incense filled rooms with, with uh, pentagrams on the floor. I know that sounds very Hollywood and I'm sure it's really not always like that, but that's the image that comes to mind. When I think of witches, I think of the wise woman of the, of the town or the, or the village. I think of the wise man of the village, because yes, men can also be witches. They're not warlocks, they're not wizards. They are also witches. I think that our conception of, a, of as I said, our conception of a witch um, generally stems from Halloween and looking at uh, sort of postcards and pictures. And of course, a lot of Hollywood um, sort of makes the, gives the witch a black, a big pointy black hat and, and a cat a black cat and that sort of thing. You know, I'm thinking of Sabrina and I'm thinking of, um, there's another American one where the girl twitches her nose or whatever. Um, bewitched, bewitched, that's the one I'm thinking of. Um, that's not real, okay? That's all figment of the imagination, of the writer's imagination. And when we think, well, when I think of true witches, I, because I live in Africa, I have a very different outlook on what a witch should look like or what a witch is. Africa as a continent goes back millennia as a place where people have lived, uh, indigenous people have lived, and they have survived for centuries, okay? And there's a lot of, um, a lot of superstition in Africa. There's a lot of belief in um, magic and in the ancestors, and also belief in, in sort of demons and chochos that live under the bed and sort of monsters and weird, weird shit like that. Which is, which, excuse the pun, which is not really a problem because it is a traditional thing, okay? And to my mind, a witch can be the pointy-headed, a pointy-hatted person. It can also be the soccer mom in the kitchen. But 
there's also a, um, a, a witch that we don't often think about, and that is the African witch, not the Sangoma. We have actual witches here. They curse people, they heal people, they, um, they will come in and read the entrails of chickens and cows and goats. They will demand um, sacrifice, animal sacrifice. They will, um, they will go around and they will sniff out the bad people in the in the the village okay and likewise they are also um, sometimes responsible or, or seem to be responsible for the death of animals for the droughts for that sort of thing so if the village is having bad luck they will go to the witch and say you are a witch we're going to burn you at the stake um, or we're going to banish you from the village or whatever um, most witches were never burnt even in the during the persecution in Europe they were never burnt they were hung um, very, very few witches were actually burnt. They were either drowned or they were hung. But in South, in, in Africa, it is a very, very believed in um, magical movement. It's all related to magic and it's related to the earth and it's related to um, to these demons and and legendary um, animals that can be controlled by the witch to either come and do good or can do or do bad. And I think. This is where the difference between what we see on Instagram, um, those beautiful um, Wiccan reels that we see um, where people are floating gorgeous incense over their extremely beautifully made up altar with the, the just the right amount of candlelight, etc, etc. I think that's where the difference between actual witchcraft and pretty, pretty witchcraft comes in. There's real witchcraft out there, people. There's real stuff out there. There's, and it's not pretty. It doesn't have to be pretty. Um, it's different from Wicca. It is true witchcraft. And I look on Instagram and I see these beautiful things and they're, they're gorgeous. But I think to myself, you know what? You're not a witch. You're a content creator. And there's a very, very big difference. So this has just been a little ramble. I actually went longer than I thought I would about Wicca and witchcraft and witches and when we think of witches we need to perhaps expand our, our vision and, and envisage witches as being real, as being people that cast spells, people that do hexes, people that are on other continents, don't just see the pointy hat, um, see the, 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 the African witches in their leopard skins and their, their special um, amulets and that sort of thing it's real it's there okay so um yeah i hope you've enjoyed that i um, am matt from tabby tarot and i will see you next tuesday for some more 10 talk Bye.